Okay, you guys, so what we're doing today is a fun little experiment theory that we have. So one of the biggest challenges when you're raising goats, you have to make a decision. Do you want the goat to raise the baby, which is called dam raised, because that's the name for a mother goat, or do you want to have you raise the baby which means you're gonna bottle feed. That means they're called bottle fed babies. Bottle fed babies are always the friendliest babies because they associate humans with food. But here's the thing, I've never quite felt comfortable with pulling the babies away from the mother. It's always been really sad. It gives me an icky feeling, I don't like it. Over the years, we've tried to do various things. We've let the mothers always raise the babies. We've held the babies a lot and tried to acclimate them to humans, but they're always a little bit wild. They still run away, especially if they're the Nigerians. Right guys? What we've decided to do is we're going to milk a little bit from mama here and then we're going to have a little bit of milk on hand and we're gonna bottle feed babies, but let babies stay with mama too, if that makes sense. So we're taking a little bit of milk from mom so we have the right milk, because you don't wanna use another goat's milk if you want the mother to still accept them because she will be able to smell another goat smell on them and that might actually deter her from wanting to mother. But right now the kids are gathering a little bit of milk from her so that we can put some in a bottle and when we go in to play with babies, Instead of just cuddling them, we're going to give them a bottle of their mom's milk. And so we're going to try to essentially teach the babies to associate humans with pleasure, with food, with reward. The reason why this is so important is obviously we're going to make the babies more friendly to us, but also in the first two weeks of a baby's life, they don't really get anything other than milk. We can't like give them treats or anything. This is the only treat that they have. There's some stuff in it. There's some stuff in it. We might have to strain it. So Lydia just milked a little bit and it has some little pieces of grass and stuff in it. So we're going to strain it into a little baby bottle. Yeah, that is plenty for us for just this little. Gotta wake them up. They're, they're, they're pretty tired. Yeah. I bet if we wake them up, they'll get out and they'll play. Oh, they're already all awake. Hey! Do you want me to try with her? Why don't you sit down? The hardest part. Now she's the one that's had the hardest time sucking. She just seems to cry when we put it in her mouth. She'll like chew on it a little bit. So when you're bottle feeding a baby, you kind of have to force it until they start sucking. Okay, put her down. Let's try one of the little ones. Oh. Okay, there he goes. Good job. So our first goal is just to get them to suck. And our next goal will be to like touch them and pet them a ton, touch their arms and their legs. Do the girl now? That's enough. You can drink for mama in just a second. Yeah. This one was also pretty good at yeah, it. Okay, so Lydia's gonna just kind of force it in her mouth and kind of hold it there until she starts sucking and it takes them a little bit. Sometimes they just chew. It's an, until they really get their tongue in there. Come on. See, right now she's just chewing, but you'll see when she starts to suck, she really will suck. There she goes. Oh, almost there. She's just chewing on it right now. There she goes. There she goes. <laughs> And we want to look right in their eyes when they're eating because they want to be looking at us and hearing our voices. She's doing good. Yeah. She's like, look, cause she's like stretching out. Now we've got Doris. She's just outside of the fence here. So she hasn't nursed them in a couple hours. So again, what we did is we just milked out maybe like a fourth of a cup from her. We're just feeding them now. And then we're going to let them in, let mom finish feeding them. So the goal is to just get them to be more associated with us as far as it comes to like reward. I'm going to sleep now. <laughs> Don't go to sleep. She eventually will take it. I think just because she's the runt, so I she's think not as hungry. She's just not as developed. Like her sucking mm -hmm. isn't as developed, so she's just gonna be better with mama. You hold it at the angle. See, they really, they they usually drink from mom at this angle. So I'm thinking if we hold it like this, it's gonna help. Back the goal on. is to be able to have them hold their heads there by themselves. Okay, good boy. That was good. Okay, let's try the little girl. Now. I don't think she'll grab onto it quite yet. Cause she's there we go she's hungry Has she got it yeah now she's got it there you go get treats from us and treats from your mom so the goal is to make these guys really friendly with humans 
but then not have to take them away from my mom. So we're really excited, we're really happy with it so far. We just have that littlest one that's acting a little bit. There you go, go in there and see your babies. There you go, now mama can feed you too. And she nurses fine from mama, look at that. <laughs> oh yeah. She doesn't want anything to do with ours, but she'll nurse for mama. So what the mom does, which is really fascinating, she sniffs their behind right here. It's really fascinating to have a goat raise um, their own babies. They have to be feeding them their own milk so that they can smell their own milk in almost in the baby's poop. So it's important that we're not using another goat's milk to feed them. Okay guys, so we're on day three of bottle feeding the baby goats and trying to see if they'll bond with us. Every day, here's what we've been doing. About 10 o'clock, we separate the mom from the babies, give her a couple hour break for them, for the babies to get hungry and for her milk to build up. Then we come out and we milk mama, take it, put it in a bottle, and we feed the babies for like their midday feeding. This one is already the friendly one. So we're just gonna feed him the least, okay? He knows to follow it. Okay, she's the difficult one. She is, she is the hardest one. Okay, try the other one. There we go. We still have not got this little one to take a bottle from us. So we're gonna try it again and we're gonna see. Cody. Taste it. I don't know. Okay, so here's what we're. I think we're gonna do. We are going to give it another hour. We're gonna let the baby, this little baby, get a little bit more hungry, and I think that's gonna help us get a successful latch. Yeah, we'll leave them all in here since they each got some food. It's just probably preference that like she prefers mom. So we're gonna just see how that works. We're gonna keep trying. We're trying again with the little one. Taste yeah, you it. want her to see, uh, taste it. Oh, so close. Okay, we got this. Almost. Keep holding it just like that. She's more uh, familiar with her mom's smell than she is like with the taste. Uh, then that's just not gonna work. Let's just do it with this, these babies then. So what we're doing right now is, we keep calling this a bra, but it's not a bra, it's an udder cover. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on Doris because, um, well, we'll explain it here in just a minute. Unbuckle the shortest strap and the neck strap that fits behind the front legs. <laughs> okay, this is the, this is the, this is what goes around her neck. Is it covering? Kind of. Okay, now we're gonna see if it works. Yeah, let him out. See what happens, just open it all the way. Jack. <laughs> Where's the bottle, where's the bottle? Okay, hurry, get the bottle, get the bottle. That's my theory. Where are you? All right, so what we just put on Doris is called an udder cover. Udder covers are what you would buy if you wanna wean babies, but you don't wanna separate babies from the mom. We're not weaning the babies yet, but here's what we are doing. This little girl right here has been really naughty. She only wants mom. And so we have an idea, we have a plan. And this is what we're gonna do. Kevin's gonna hold the bottle, and the baby's gonna think that she's eating from mom. Oops, You're, she's on the wrong side. It's right there, it's right there. You're squirting it on her face. We're gonna see if it works. Kevin's determined to teach her to take Ten the bottle. Times the charm. She's the worst. She will not take the bottle from us, no matter what. No matter how hungry she is, she just wants her mom, that's it. I think that we have to give up. Kevin's still trying there. We've got the little harness or the little uh, udder cover on Doris, and Kevin's holding the bottle. Oh, and he's trying to see if he can trick her and say, look, here's the bottle. I don't think it's gonna work. She's really stubborn. All right, I think that Frida is officially the most stubborn goat we've ever had. Well, I guess it's our 
<laughs> oh no, really? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh gosh. Well. Oh my gosh, now she can eat. She's like, oh my goodness. That's why it's got holes in it. <laughs> All right guys, we are at the two week mark with these little babies. So we thought we'd do a little conclusion to the whole experimenting with bottle feeding and letting mom raise them at the same time. So yes, we do think that it was a good thing to do because we really made the ones that at least took the bottle really, really friendly. They immediately realized like, hey, humans have food for us to eat. Because remember, you can't feed a baby goat grain or any kind of treat when they're that little. So right away we were able to train them like, hey, look, look Look, we've got good stuff for you. But the only downside was that stinking, stubborn little goat, Frida. She still has not taken the bottle, which I have raised goats for eight years, and I've never had that happen. So, I don't know. What do you think, Kevin? I don't know either. She will actually go up to the sheep and try to suck on the sheep before oh, yeah. she'll suck on a bottle. So it's But wait, she's aren't the sheep her. males? Yes. <laughs> So, All right, well, it's um, just crazy. I don't know. She's adorable, and I think from us holding her so many times, she's become friendly. But yeah, like it's crazy. So I guess the best thing we can say is that we do think that it's a good way to get really friendly baby goats and still let the moms primarily raise them. But just know you might have a little stubborn little baby goat in the mix. So, yep. All right, okay. Well, I think that's it. I was gonna go record them, but I think they're all sleeping over there. Oh, are they awake? So yeah, they, they come right up to us and they like people. And I think that was what, that was what we wanted initially. So success. They think we've got a bottle for them.